EU interior ministers are to discuss how to respond to the migrant crisis in the Mediterranean, with Italy threatening a strong response if no deal is reached. A key issue at the talks in Luxembourg is a plan to distribute asylum seekers more evenly across all 28 EU states. Prime Minister Matteo Renzi said without agreement Italy would adopt a plan B that would hurt Europe. The crisis has put a huge strain on Italian, Greek and Maltese resources. While some EU states including Germany and Austria back a deal to share a total of 60,000 asylum seekers across 25 nations, others argue that migrants should not be forced to move to countries where they do not want to settle. The UK, Denmark and Ireland have exemptions from the quota plan. More than 1,800 migrants have died in the Mediterranean so far this year, a 20-fold increase on the same period in 2014. The majority had set sail aboard rickety, overcrowded boats from strife-torn Libya. In recent weeks naval vessels, including the UK's HMS Bulwark, have rescued thousands of people at risk of drowning, but plans to resettle migrants across Europe and break up the smuggling networks have yet to be agreed. For the past few days, Italy has also been involved in a row with France over the presence of more than 200 African migrants stuck at Ventimiglia on the border. France has accused Italy of failing to respect EU asylum rules, but the Rome government has argued the migrants see Italy only as a transit country. Going into the Luxembourg talks, French Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve said we have to build solidarity for our Italian friends, and they have to build responsibility. Responsibility, he explained, must include organizing the return of irregular migrants. Italy and Greece, which have already seen more than 100,000 boat people arrive on their shores this year, insist other EU nations must share some of the burden. Italy has seen an influx of almost 60,000 migrants, mainly from Libya. Mr Renzi is reported to have warned that, without a fair deal, Italy would start issuing temporary visas to enable migrants to travel beyond Italy under Schengen rules. If the European Council chooses solidarity, then good. If it doesn't we have a plan B ready but that would be a wound inflicted on Europe, he told Italy's Corriere della Sera. Although details of Italy's plan B have not been given, reports suggest that Italy would refuse to allow migrants rescued by foreign navies to disembark on its shores. Asked whether that was true, Italian European Affairs Minister Sandro Gozzi told BBC Radio it is clear that in a possible second phase we will apply international maritime law in all its aspects. The Schengen system removed compulsory passport controls at most of the EU's internal borders, to encourage free movement. German Interior Minister Thomas de Maizière said in Luxembourg that we're not looking to change Schengen, we're not for systematic border controls. The European Commission has said it wants to adopt immediate measures to prevent human tragedies and to deal with emergencies. The Commission wants to relocate 40,000 new arrivals over the next two years according to a distribution key that takes account of factors such as population, gross domestic product and unemployment, as well as the number of refugees already taken in. However, France and Germany, which together would be expected to receive more than 30% of the relocated refugees, have asked for fairer burden sharing. They also say that greater emphasis should be placed on the number of asylum seekers already taken in. Poland has voiced its opposition to mandatory quotas, saying it is up to member states to make their own decisions.